Today I'll be opening up the Series 2 Hidden Disney Pens. These started showing up in the parks in December of 2022. They are $14.99 per bag and there are two pens in each bag. So the Series 1 of these had different pen designs for both Disneyland and Walt Disney World. But Series 2, they're the same pen designs for both parks. So this is a 36 pen collection and they broke them down into six different smaller themed collections. So those themed collections that we can get are Character Planes, Star Wars Heroes, Marvel Avengers logo, the Pixar ones are Toy Story themed, then there's Rabbit Eggs and Fantasia pens. So let's open them up, see what we get. I have five bags here to open up, which is 10 pens total. I am hoping for the Character Planes and the Marvel Avengers logo pens. The other ones would be fine too, except I don't really care for the Fantasia pen, so I'm hoping to avoid those. However, since I said that, be prepared to see a whole lot of Fantasia pens. <laughs> All right, so these do have little notches on both sides, so you can just rip them open, and we'll see what we get in here. Now these are in cardboard. Oh, they're both they're just in one big cardboard piece like that. And the first one I got was Fantasia. Let's <laughs> see, this is how this is gonna go. And it is the Brooms. Now that I believe is a completer pen. I did forget to mention that at the start. Uh, all of these are six pens and it's actually five pens and a completer pen. And I believe the Brooms are a completer pen. And this one, I can tell from the back, looks like a Toy Story one, and it is Buzz. So we have a Fantasia and a Toy Story. All right, let's see. We're gonna get a Fantasia in each each pack, probably. <laughs> let's see, we got here. Oh, I can already see one. It is a Star Wars one. It is Admiral Akbar. That one's pretty cool. I like that, and it has the little uh, little Star Wars logo there. The Rebels. Ooh, and this one is an airplane. Let's see what it is. It is Lumiere. Nice, that one's pretty cool. So it's got like kind of swirls of gold and then his face is on the, the tail. That one's pretty cool, I like that one. <laughs> He's not gonna stay up. Oh, kinda. All right. Three more bags. Three more bags to go. Still looking for some Avengers logos. The completer for that one is Thor. That one looks really cool. Has lightning all over it. So I'd like to get that one. So this one is, it's an Avengers logo. And this one, I believe that is Black Widow. Nice. And the Avengers ones have the, uh, the back, pin back is just a regular round one. It's not a Mickey ears pin back. So I believe that one is Black Widow. And then this one, I can tell from the back, it's Star Wars, and it is Rey. So now the Star Wars ones do have the uh, Mickey ears pin back. So we have Rey, Rey and Akbar. Okay, two bags to go. We, uh, we've we got one from each series so far, except for the eggs. Yeah, I forget what other one. I think I have a picture of it down here. Yeah, just the eggs. Oh, we got another Ray. So we got our first double. So two Rays. And this one is, ooh, I can tell it's an Avengers logo. Okay, don't be Black Widow. Hey, it's Hulk. Awesome. <laughs> so we got a Hulk Avengers logo. Nice. All right, last bag here. Let's see what we got. Well, I can see some points of a star. That's a Toy Story one. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> it's a rabbit egg. So that is the white rabbit, I believe, right? White rabbit? Yeah, the completer pin is Roger Rabbit. So we got the white rabbit, and then we got another Star Wars. Come on, not another ray. Ooh, it's Obi-Wan. I like Obi-Wan. So we got Obi-Wan. So. Hey, overall, not that bad. We only got one double. Of course, it is a 36-pin collection, so, you know, 
you can avoid some doubles pretty easily on your first unboxing, but pretty cool. Only got one airplane, but I like that one, so nice. So let's take a look at the backs of these really quick because it is kind of confusing. So we'll take a look at the Marvel pins first. So these are two of the Marvel pins and they both have a border around the waffle pattern. You can see it here. You can really see it here on the Black Widow one on the side. So both of these have a border and this is number four and number two. And then the rabbit pin that I have, the white rabbit, it also has a border around the waffle pattern. And then the Star Wars pins, so I have Rey and Obi-Wan, they both have a border around the waffle pattern. Now, where it gets interesting here is Admiral Akbar, also a Star Wars pin, he does not have a border. His looks good, but he is a chaser pin. So do the chaser pins um, have the waffle pattern going off the edges on the back? I am not sure. I do have another chaser pin here, which is Fantasia, and this one also looks good. So that's two chaser pins that I know of that look good. And then this Toy Story Buzz, he's not a chaser pin, and this one looks good. No border on that one. And then the Lumiere Plane, his looks good too. So, I'm gonna need to buy more of these to really determine how the backs look, but I'm kind of guessing that the airplanes and Toy Story ones are gonna look good. And then I'm not sure about the Fantasia pins because this one's a chaser and it looks good. So, yeah, a little bit confusing there, but I thought I'd show it to you guys just because these hidden Disney pins and hidden Mickey pins, they get faked the most. So at least now you know what the official ones do look like when these do get faked in a year or so from now. Those were the Series 2 Hidden Disney Pins. Which one was your favorite out of the ones that I opened today? For me, my favorite out of these is probably the Lumiere Airplane. I like the shape of the airplane pins and that one's actually really cool. I like the little squiggles on it and his head and the tail. So I like that one. I do like the two Marvel ones too. Um, and I did get two completer pins. Admiral Akbar is the Star Wars completer and the Brooms are the Fantasia completer. So overall a good unboxing because I only ended up with one of the Fantasia pins. So I avoided those pretty good. <laughs> so thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.